Hello YouTubers, I'm, uh, my name's Eric and uh, I'm working on uh, right now an Atheron Genesis model uh, UP SD70M and uh, this model is uh, from one of their older runs I believe 06 or 07 and I'm installing a soundtrack Tsunami DCC sound decoder for these particular locomotives and models I use uh, two speakers I use the high bass 1.1 inch square or 28 millimeter square high bass speaker and I also use a 35 by 20 millimeter medium oval speaker and that is in the rear of the locomotive. The high bass speaker I place up inside the cab and as you can see here it fits pretty neatly. Um, now that fit is accommodated by sanding the corners of the enclosure so it has a nice snug fit up inside the cab. I also disassemble the locomotive and the cab in particular to accommodate that speaker. Um, the windows are tinted. I don't use crew members, so for me it's just not, not, not that important to uh, have that cab interior. To me, um, I'd rather have the sound fidelity and clarity um, that these high bass speakers provide. Um, that to me is uh, probably the most important element of, uh, of uh, model railroading is uh, having that uh, good clear sound. So, uh, so for me, uh, I rip everything out that I can and then uh, replace as necessary. When uh, doing an install on uh, this particular locomotive, uh, I disassemble and remove the motor and the trucks from the frame and then you can see here I've removed uh, a portion of this front and rear weight in order to accommodate the wires and speakers. Uh, once I've finished with the electrical installation which includes the light speakers and decoders and am ready to reassemble the model I will add back lead weight and uh, by the time I'm done uh, Usually, uh, I can stuff back about six to eight ounces of uh, lead weight back inside the um, frame and shell, which uh, makes it almost a, about four inch, four ounces heavier than uh, than uh, the stock model. So it's a uh, really good pulling heavy locomotive when I'm finished. Uh, the other thing that I do is when I have the frame disassembled, I will remove the side frames of these trucks. Um, when these models uh, came out in the early 2000s, they were subject to uh, a bent uh, pickup and uh, that caused uh, a lot of people to be frustrated because of tracking issues with the locomotive. Uh, these, uh, these particular trucks were uh, straight. Uh, but I, once I have it uh, disassembled, I might as well uh, do the uh, modification just to uh, make it run a little bit smoother on the track. So what I do is I take out, um, I remove those truck side frames, and there's a little piece of copper pickup in there. And uh, what I do is I use a 3 64 inch drill bit to uh, widen the hole where the uh, axle uh, touches or goes through that pickup and what it does is it allows that axle just to float a little bit more freely in there and by doing that uh, it allows for better tracking ability over uh, uneven uh, track surfaces and um, uh, no matter if you use flex track uh, or you hand lay your own such as myself you are going to encounter uneven track it's just uh, a nature of model railroading. Uh, no matter how hard we try, 
things just aren't always perfectly flat, straight, and even. And they're not even even on the prototype. Uh, you can uh, if you take a look at some prototype uh, pictures or video, uh, you can see how sometimes uneven that track is. So uh, by reaming out the uh, axle centers on that pickup, um, it just allows a little bit more play or slop or whatever you want to call it. And uh, it uh, allows the uh, model to uh, track better um, on, the, uh, on the track. The other part of uh, doing these sound installs uh, is once I have the model disassembled, um, I remove the um, the uh, factory uh, 12 volt LED or the 12 volt bulbs. As you can see here, uh, pretty thick wiring, and uh, these are prone to burning out. Uh, there's also uh, that uh, the wiring itself uh, it can become frayed, uh, the rubber breaks down, etc. So what I do is uh, I remove that factory uh, bulb and I install uh, two different types of LEDs. I uh, see right here they're very very small. Uh, they are about, uh, these are the 0603 surface mount LEDs and I use two of these for the front headlight, two in the rear headlight and then for the uh, ditch lights, I put 0402 surface mount LEDs and uh, those are those 0402s are about a quarter to a half the size of the 0603 so they're very small and you can fit them in tight places. Um, they work great. The, the um, LEDs are long lasting, um, thousands of hours and uh, about the only way to burn one out is uh, to wire it improperly and uh, I've installed thousands of these uh, LEDs and uh, I've yet to see one burn out um, over the course of uh, just a natural life uh, they just last it seems forever so uh, use those they're also bright and um, provide a much more realistic uh, lighting effect than the uh, 12 volt bulbs yeah. Uh...